really excited to open up the things I got and finally get to play with them. I have items from Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and from Hermes, and I can't wait to share them with you, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. And this video is in collaboration with Yota style who recently visited me and we went to the Galleria together and we're both posting our shopping hauls from that trip on the same day here so I will have her video linked below so you can go check that out when you're done watching my video and seeing all the cool stuff I got she bought some amazing things we had so much fun there together we went twice and I want to give a shout out to Gracie I'll tell you more about Gracie later in the video and I also want to give a shout out and a big thank you thank you thank you to Becca my associate at Louis Vuitton who helped us and is always wonderful and generous with us and always makes the experience really fun. So hi Becca, her information will be linked below. I also have sales associate information from the other boutiques we visited. I've got Becca at Louis Vuitton, we have Hermes, we have Chanel, and we also have Fendi. So if you need an associate at any of those stores, check the description box below. They did all give us permission to put their information there so you can text them about items you're interested in. I have for you today a luxury shopping haul. This is from when Yota came into town. She just left this morning. I miss her already. We had a lot of fun. So glad that we finally got to meet and I'm so glad they were able to come down here during my spring break. In addition to going to the Galleria twice with her, we also went to a local shopping center called the River Oaks District. That's where Hermes and Dior and Cartier are, to name a few things. Those are the big stores. And then we took a trip up to Wimberley, which I've taken you there before. They have the wineries and stuff. They have shopping in their little town. I'm going to show you what I got there first. I didn't want to do a separate video on that because it's really not enough. I didn't buy a whole lot. So let's just get into it. First, let me start by showing you a little gift that Yota brought for me in this Tory Burch pouch, but it's not Tory Burch. And that is this set of earrings and this bracelet with what look like malachite stones in a floret shape, similar to Van Cleef and Arpels. It's none of those things, but I think it's beautiful. It's the perfect color for me. And I've really been into malachite lately. In fact, I was looking at one of the shops in Wimberley at a Malachite necklace set. So there is the bracelet. Very pretty. I have other earrings on right now and you wouldn't be able to see these if I put them on, so I'll do that later. But I'm happy to add that to my bracelet stack. Thank you, Yota. And here I have a couple of items from a shop in Wimberley called Blue Willow. These are both gifts. One is this bar of soap I got for my brother-in-law and I'm going to save it and give it to him for Christmas. Yes, I'm going to wait that long because he's difficult to shop for and I don't know what to get him. So if I see something throughout the year, I snag it and I save it for Christmas. This is an after hunting soap to remove the scent of dead squirrels and things. He hunts deer, but he could use that. The other item is a doggy cookie bar. It's called Bark Bars, cookie for dogs. And this one is a peanut butter and carob chip dog treat flavor that I thought they could just split it. Maybe they won't be happy about that, but that's how things are. Not yet, Roxy. In this bag, I have a couple of items from a shop called Wimberly Whimsy, and both of these are in the town square. First is this little bird that I think I'll hang in my closet. I thought it was really pretty. They had several felted birds like this, and I loved the colors and the details, and this one stood out to me. And it happens to be orange, which is Yota's favorite color, so it has some significance from our trip. I also got this item, which is this pair of earrings, which kind of looks like like turquoise, but it's not. These are like $15, so I don't think it's real silver or anything, but I really liked the design, so I picked them up. Those would look nice with what I'm wearing today. And of course, we're both artists, so we had to go into the local art gallery, and we did both purchase a painting, both small paintings, because we had to travel home with them. I got this card which is a painting by artist Susan Rain. And I got that because it's a hornbill and I used to work with hornbills at the Houston Zoo. In fact, I worked with this specific species of hornbill. Though I don't remember what they're called now. 
It was a long time ago. And I got this beautiful painting, also of a hornbill, but a different kind of hornbill. And it's in a nice thick frame. And I just thought that was really beautiful. That will probably go in my closet as well. It's sort of an art gallery in there and a luxury gallery. And that's one thing I like to do, especially when I'm traveling, is try to find a piece of art, some small piece of art by a local artist that's easy enough to get home and won't take up too much space, but that is beautiful and I can admire for years. I have several pieces like that in my closet. All right, now let's get to luxury shopping. Across the street from the Galleria, we went to this chocolate shop, Cacao and Cardamom. I love them. They have the most beautiful chocolates. Yota's chocolates that she got are more beautiful than these. I got some truffles. I need my handy knife here to open the box, cut the sticker. My truffles aren't fancy. They're the regular chocolates there, they paint them and they have these bright colors and interesting shapes and they're really wonderful. These are just little balls of chocolate from different places and a couple of them are flavored and they look like that. They're really beautiful and they're delicious. They're really high quality chocolates. I've become quite picky about chocolate, especially since I started patronizing chocolate places like this. And now Roxy is up here on the arm of the chair. She's very interested in the chocolates, but you can't have them, darling. Go get the cookie later though. You will. Now let's see what I got from Hermes. Yota and I went in there. This was our first stop on the luxury shops and we each got a couple of things. My receipt came in this little envelope. Also, from all of these shops, and from Fendi, we got information for sales associates so we could list it below for you. So in case there's anything you want and you need an associate to try to find it for you or you're just not near a store, you can get in touch with these people. They all gave us permission to put their information in our description boxes. The person who helped us at our mez, and I don't have her card right in here, it's somewhere I still haven't completely unpacked yet. She was so nice and she actually offered us a bag an evelyn it was an evelyn 29 gold leather with gold hardware we didn't look at it because neither of us wanted that bag but just to be offered a bag at hermes makes you feel special right and we also saw someone being offered a birkin and do that little sit down in the kind of private room and have the bag pulled out of the box and then we saw her purchase it that was very exciting anyway let's see what i got i got one thing i also got Oh, I've got a sample in here. I forgot about that. This is the lip enhancing sample. I've never seen Hermes samples before. I didn't even know they do them. It's in this little orange envelopey thing. Just untucks. Oh, she gave me several. I'm not sure how these work. They're in a little bubble sleeve or blister sleeve, whatever that's called. So these are all lip colors. Rosy lip enhancer, it says. This is number 14, rose abricote. Apricot, I'm guessing. Number 49, rose tan. And number 30, rose dete. It's D apostrophe E-T-E. And the item I got is in here, so you can guess what it is. Take the ribbon off, pull off the little cap. I haven't purchased one of these in quite a while, so it's exciting. They had so many Twillies there, I can't tell you. It was difficult to pick which ones to get. I've been talking about getting a yellow bag. I did finally order one. It should be here later this week, but I don't know when the unboxing will go up. And I got a double-sided one, so it has stripes on one side and bright colors, including this bright yellow. And on the other side, it has circus animals. So there's that side, and then there's this side. It also has a couple of people, and they had this in a few colorways, and this is the one that stood out to me the most because of that yellow. I think it'll look great on my yellow bag or on my green bags. I'm trying to add more color to my collection and feel like this will help. So that was fun. Right off the bat, we walk into Hermes. We see a bunch of Birkins everywhere, like not on the shelves, but on the other customers. There were a lot of people in there with Birkins. There were maybe five or six in the store that we saw in person. It was pretty cool. Now let's see what I got from Louis Vuitton. I have two things in this bag. One is in here. I've never seen a box shaped like that before from Louis Vuitton. So that's fun. And the other is in this box. And I also hadn't seen a box like this before. At least I don't have one. Or do I? Maybe my perfume came in a box like that. That's not what this is though. This is very exciting. I had been looking for one of these items for maybe a few months and I'm glad I found one. And then I was not expecting to find this piece at all. And there it was staring me in the face in the store. And I was so excited and I just had to have it. I thought this item was completely sold out and had been for a few months. So I was blown away that it was there and I just had to take it home with me. Let's see what's in this long box. 
We'll slide the ribbon off, drop it on the table apparently, and open it up. Ta-da! Oh my, look at this. I didn't know it was gonna come all fancy. It came in this little, it's not velvet, but velvety sort of thing. Can you see it says Louis Vuitton imprinted there? Anybody know what this is? It has a snap on that side and a snap on that side. And when we open it up, it's like I need to pull this piece out. Oops, just dropping everything today. Let me hold this in place so it doesn't topple over everywhere. This is what I got, it's a bracelet. It's gold toned and it has little LV logos in a circle and it has little florets and it's really pretty. Here's why I wanted this. I have my bracelet stack and I have this one little gold chain, not real gold. I got it over Vlogmas, I opened it up, I'd ordered it from, I think, Saks and it came in a set of three bracelets and this was the one that I liked the best and I worn it every day since then and it was inexpensive it was i don't remember thirty dollars fifty dollars for those three bracelets and it's definitely starting to show that it's inexpensive the color is wearing off it's getting really dull it's turning silver so i wanted to replace that with something of much better quality and i really like having a gold bracelet on my wrist i just like the color of it because i also have silver and i have bronze and i like to mix my metals and have all three this has a little lobster clasp at the end and on the other side it has a chain where you can adjust the length of it which is perfect too. I like to wear my bracelets tight and that is just a beautiful addition to my bracelet stack. I love it. I'm very happy with it. On the end of it it has a little florette charm hanging and I think it's beautiful. Excellent purchase Beckman. It's exciting that it came with this jewelry case. I was not expecting that at all. Thank you Becca. Of course Becca is the person who helped us. Yota and I actually went to the Galleria twice. I think I mentioned that already. We went the first day she got here and we went again the last day. The first time I didn't buy anything at Louis Vuitton. I had been preparing myself to buy a handbag when she was here. I was going to allow myself to buy a brand new luxury handbag in the store, spend a bunch of money, and here's the thing, I never found one that I liked well enough to pay the price for. I think my problem is I'm so used to pre-loved and I'm so used to finding a bargain, and every time I found a bag, I did a lot of research before we went to the Galleria. I looked on all the different luxury brand websites to see what bags they had available and what were in my price range and the ones that I liked and would consider buying I would then search the pre-loved market and see what kind of price I could get for them there and most of them I could get so much cheaper and still in excellent condition just by going pre-loved so it didn't make sense for me financially to buy them new there were some that it did make sense for some that it's more difficult to find pre-loved or the more expensive pre-loved or whatever the case may be. Ultimately, I never did buy a bag. I'm disappointed about that because I really, really wanted one. And there are still a couple that I'm thinking about and there's a chance I'll go back to the Galleria and buy one still. Oh my gosh, the worst thing I have to tell you. This, oh, this kills me. This is like a dagger through my heart. The men's store at Louis Vuitton had this bag. They had it out on display. I saw it as I was walking by through the window. This bag was in my price range and I was looking for something special, something colorful, something with a texture. This was the bag, man. And I asked Becca about it. She walked us over to the men's store to look at it and I got to try it on. It was perfect. That was the bag. But guess what? You're not going to believe this if you don't know about this already. I did not know about this. In some Louis Vuitton stores, they have items, and unfortunately this was one of them, that are called samples and they are for display only, and they're not for sale. It is maddening, it is confusing, I don't understand it. I don't know if it's just to lure people into the store. When you see something on a shelf, and it's a bag you know has been for sale, and it's a hard to find bag, you expect to say, hey, I want that, I'll take it. And then to be told, no, what are we at, Hermes? It was incredible, this bag, and I would have purchased that one on the spot had it been available, but it wasn't. But I am glad I got to see it in person. It is really beautiful. I'm thinking about getting a little key ball, the extra small size that's what this is but nothing is ever going to compare to that one it was so perfect and heartbreaking all right let's see what's in my other Louis Vuitton box let's take the ribbon off there we go I'm also looking at a couple of pre-loved bags that are in the same price range that I was looking to spend at the Galleria and you can get so much more for your money when you go pre-loved 
However, in this particular instance, I really wanted the store experience. If you're somebody who buys pre-loved, every once in a while, you want the store experience. And I mean, I got it by buying these things, but I wanted the store experience with a handbag, you know? I wanted to come away with a handbag, and I'm still disappointed that I didn't. But I did get all these other beautiful things, and it's not that big of a deal, really. I mean, please. All right, let's see what's in this box. Here we go. We have a drawstring Louis Vuitton dust bag, and when we open that up, there's going to be a surprise in here. Here, two more Louis Vuitton dust bags. Does that tell you anything about what I got? Two items. Can you guess? Two tiny items. I'm gonna get both of them out. I cannot believe they had these in the store. It's these. The cruiser earrings. These are the ones that Dale's Addiction has. She purchased them, I think, during Vlogmas of this last year, and she wore them through much of Vlogmas. And I watched all of her Vlogmas, and I just admired those earrings so much. They were so beautiful on her, and they're so pretty, and they catch the eye, and they catch the light, and they're unique. They're really beautiful. And I looked into getting them, and they were so sold out. And then yesterday I walk into Louis Vuitton and there they are. So they just had to come home with me. I'll put one on so you can see it. They are really a pain in the butt to put on. And I'll show you a close up here. So it's three pieces. You have the back of the earring. You have the stud, which in this case has a pearl. I'm sure it's a faux pearl. And then you have what's called the jacket, which is the piece that fits behind your ear. And you can see on the jacket there are three holes. That's the problem because you put the stud in your ear and then you have to blindly feel around to get the stud into one of those holes and you have to get it into the correct hole that fits your ear best where the drop of the jacket is where you like it to be and then you have to do it again for the second earring and get them both in the same hole and it's just really difficult because it's all so tiny it's difficult to line it up and get it just right twice. I bought some Rebecca Minkoff earrings that are very similar to these to try them out and I had the same issue with them. They're they're basically identical to these except they're not Louis Vuitton. They don't have the little Louis Vuitton logos. They had crystals and little designs. I don't even know if I got that in the right hole but it feels like I did. So you can see there how they look and they're just so pretty. They're dainty and they're nice and you can switch out the stud with any other stud you have for a different look as long as it fits through the hole. With the Rebecca Minkoff ones, I'm gonna take these back off because I had different earrings on. With the Rebecca Minkoff ones, I knew going into this purchase how frustrating and difficult it is to get these on and off. And I almost didn't buy them. Well, like for a second, I almost didn't buy them because I know what a pain they are. However, I just could not leave them there. I knew that if I left them there, I'd regret not buying them. So that's how I ended up with those very hard to find earrings. And Dale, it is all your fault. And thank you. Now let's see what I got from Chanel. This was an exciting purchase. We got it from the Chanel inside the Neiman Marcus. We have that Chanel at the Galleria. We also have a standalone Chanel. The standalone Chanel, if you saw the shopping vlog, which will be linked below, uh, it had a line longer than I've ever seen it at that store. We were there on the weekend. It was very busy and it was the first weekend of spring break. And the line basically wasn't moving. Finally, this lady came out, one of the associates, and she had like an iPad with her. And she asked what we were looking for and we told her and then she brought up pictures on the iPad of what they had in stock in the store. And that way we could see if they had what we wanted or not and see if it was worth waiting in this line that was taking forever. And they didn't have what I wanted. And Yota just wanted to look around. We never did get to go in that store. They were closed when we went back yesterday. So we went over to Neiman Marcus and we got into that store. It had a line, but it was much shorter. And we popped in there and this store used to be owned or managed or I'm not sure how it works by Neiman Marcus and now it's owned by Chanel and managed by them. That's where I had purchased before. Let me grab it. That's where I purchased this. A Chanel Gabrielle Golden Bronze Metallic Degradé card holder. Got it there and I think that that store, I could be wrong, I've only been into either of those Chanel's a couple of times, but the impression I get is that the store in Neiman Marcus has a few special pieces that the boutique doesn't have because the boutique gets more traffic so those pieces sell more quickly. So I was able to find this very special piece a few years ago and then the other day I found this special piece. And I'd been looking for one of these 
for quite a while, for a few years, and just hadn't found the right one. And this one spoke to me. Inside I have cards that have the information, all the numbers and the things. It's a 22P series. I don't know what all that means, but there you go. My receipt's in this little Chanel receipt holder with the embossed camellia, and it says Chanel on the bottom. Probably could see that. And then inside I have a cute little box, and it's all wrapped up. What? Oh, that's what I was going to say, too, is in that store, when they were run by Neiman's, you got Neiman's packaging. You didn't get the Chanel ribbon and the camellia dropping things again. You didn't get the Chanel ribbon and camellia and the Chanel bag and all that stuff. It was all Neiman's. So that was disappointing. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? Now he's up here sniffing all my stuff. Hello, Baron. Hello, world. Go back to where you were, darling. So it was disappointing when I made my very first Chanel purchase from the boutique and I didn't get all the packaging with it. But today I did. I hate to unwrap it. So pretty. Let's see. Can I squeeze it off? I'm one of those people I like to protect the packaging and keep it nice and pretty and not untie the bows. We got it. Now we can slide it off, I think. Someday, someday this will happen. It's tight. Here we go. The little Chanel box. Remove the lid. Oh, what do we have in here? I wasn't expecting that. Some paperwork. It's a little card folder thing with paperwork inside. And in there we have this Chanel bag, a little velvet dust bag. And inside there we have this piece. This is the Chanel flap card holder in a metallic gold and it's in the classic flap style. I also have this card holder that I got from Fashion File a few years ago. This is in the boy style. And they're the same size because they're the same design and everything. This new one has a back pocket. The old one does not. The inside layout is exactly the same. This is on a snap closure. You open it up, it has this big open space and it has this one front pocket here. And I've had this one, same layout on the inside, just so you see. There we go in the front pocket. I've had this one for years now. I've noticed a little bit of wear. I use it a lot on the corners and I've wanted to add a few more because I love it so much. It's so handy. It works really well for me. And the first one I wanted to get was something in a light color because I have this dark color. Something light or bright would be nice. Now this gold, it's a little brighter and shinier than I really prefer on my golds. I like them to be a little darker like the gold at the top of this card holder. However, when you're buying Chanel, especially at a boutique, you just can't be too picky. If they have something special and you like it, you gotta snatch it up because it'll go fast. They also had a card holder, flat card holder like this. It was the Chanel 19 style with the CCs and a chain with the woven leather. And it was in this beautiful light blue color, like a sky blue. It was almost the color of this mask, except a little bit darker. And I wanted to get both pieces, but the associate who will be listed below told us that customers only allowed one small leather good per month and one handbag purchase per month. But he did say that if I wanted the other card holder that somebody else could buy it for me and I could pay them back. So that's a way around that. But I'm happy to have this and to finally have another card holder I can use. And I still wanna add a few more just so each individual one doesn't get too much wear. I know I have to be a little more careful with this metallic, especially with it being a lighter metallic. Those do tend to wear a little more quickly and the metallic finish can come off. And that is my luxury shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please make sure you check out the associates below if you need anything, Becca at Louis Vuitton, and then the associates at Chanel, at Hermes, and Joy at Fendi. Joy at Fendi, I didn't talk about our Fendi experience, Yota will do that on her channel. Joy at Fendi was my original associate at Louis Vuitton, and she recognized me. Oh, we got recognized at Fendi. That was fun. That was by Gracie, who I gave a shout out to earlier. She was really sweet. Yota and I were standing in the line outside the store waiting to come in, and I had gone in to see the Fendigraphy, Fendigraphy, whatever it is, the new hobo that says Fendi in gold letters really big across the bottom, and I saw two in the window. They had a black one and they had a light pink one in the small size, and they had a little nano pink one. I saw Gracie, I didn't know who she was at the time, but I saw her buying the black one. I was like, oh, she's getting my bag. That's exactly the one I came into the store to see. So we go in, we're looking around, and I I'm turned around with my back to her looking at something else and I hear my name and I turn around and she was like, Autumn Beckman, you have a YouTube channel, right? I watch your YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, hi, and all this. And, and then I was like, do you watch her channel too? And I'm 
boom, I motion over to Yota, and Yota turns around, and Gracie's like, um, no. She was super nice about it, but it was hilarious. Yota and I were laughing about it later, <laughs> that she didn't watch her channel. And I don't think about that, because I feel like I talk about Yota so much, and I promote her channel so much, because she's my friend. I just assume that everybody who watches my channel also watches her channel. But now, Gracie is subscribed to Yota, everything is right with the world, and we did finally get recognized, so that was fun. And of course, they, you know, we don't care about being recognized. It's just a fun thing that happens every once in a while. So hi again, Gracie. Very nice meeting you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day. And please remember to go over to Yota's channel and check out her haul because she has quite a fabulous one. Spoiler alert, she did buy a bag at the Galleria. In fact, she bought two. In fact, she actually bought three, but one ended up getting exchanged for another one. So hopefully she'll tell that story to you. But again, thank you for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later. Bye.